Hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. It is time to review Bleach 528. This one was called This one was called Everything But The Rain. I said it last week. I told everybody as I reviewed last week's, episode, last week's chapter of Bleach 527. If he gets sent to Karakura Town, expect a rant. Well, he was sent to Karakura Town. Expect a rant. Now, what pissed me off was how Kubo did this. And I know people say, it wasn't pointless. It it how can you say it's not pointless? What did Ichigo go up there for? What did he go up there for? Let's rewind. <laughs> Let's see, he went there to, let's see, he got healed, he had to go up there to get healed, okay, and Curling G, you know, Demon of the Hot, hot, uh, hot Water Spring did that, and then he ate with, with Renji at the, you know, at Hikafune, and then what else, let's see, his Sambak toe broke in Bankai form, right, he went to Urutsu, what did Urutsu do? He kicked him out! He kicked him out without fixing his sword, without fixing his bankai, and says, "Oh, Ichigo, you're whack. The the oh, it's the I forgot the name of those fucking things. They didn't accept you. Now get the fuck out and learn about your roots. And where did he send him? Fucking Karakura Town to see who? His stupid father. His stupid deadbeat." Douchebag father who hasn't said a word. The only word he ever said to Ichigo con concerning the whole thing with with um uh, uh anything to do with with Shinigami and bleed and, and Shinigami and Zombok Toes was oh the eyes and arc and he didn't say anything after it. And now all of a sudden, now's the time. Listen, I'm not upset. With the fact that he's <clears throat> getting a flashback. I'm thrilled that he's getting a flashback. But can someone explain to me why Ichigo had to go all the way to the to the Soul King lair? To go all the way to the Soul King? To see these Zero Squad members? What was the purpose of it? If you tell me the purpose of it was to, oh, find out that he was not actually a full Shinigami, get the fuck out. Because that is a waste of ink. That, that's what, that is the rant, that's what I'm ranting about. It's fucking bullshit. Then he should have took his sword and get the fuck out. He should have left. He should never have gone up there. In the first place. What is the point of having uh, a Zero Squad member tell him this? Shouldn't somebody else be telling him this? Like, it seems stupid. And he gets kicked out and he goes to Karakura Town. That whole last... It pissed me off to no end. Now, that's what I'm ranting about. That point. It was done. Kubo did it wrong. I'm not saying I'm pissed off that he's in Karakura Town. I'm pissed off that he handled it wrong. You don't send your main character to, to, it's like saying, you know what it's like saying? It's like saying, oh, this guy is the President of the United States. Then two days later, a day later, he's impeached. That's what it's like. You go to heaven, uh, and they say, ah, uh, after a day, no, you're not allowed. Get the fuck out. That's what it's like. I just felt that whole last chapter was a waste of time. Complete waste of time. And if anybody wants to argue and say, fuck me, fuck you, I say, fuck you. I just pissed about it because it felt like a waste of time. Now, that's the one thing I'm ranting about. The other thing is, in this chapter, we're obviously getting a flashback. 
My question is this. When this flashback is over, it's all said and done, what does Ichigo do now? I swear to you, this is bona fide. If his father tells him, oh, you're going to go train with Uliu to become a Quincy, I swear to you, I will drop Leech. I will not review any chapters for the next four weeks. But if what happens is, if this happens, I will have a different story about it. If he gets sent to the Soul Society with Ishin, then maybe I'll change my tune on it. But I just, that the whole thing was done. I did not like how Kubo did this. I think it was a stupid move. I think Ichigo went up there for absolutely nothing. Nothing. And what makes it even more irating? The Soul King wanted to see Ichigo. And they kick him out. Oh, someone's gonna call Itsu Phoenix. Uh, by the way, you're getting an ass whooping now, Nick, motherfucker. I was gonna say the N-word there. You're getting an ass whooping. Boom, boom, boom. He just bitch slaps the hell. The Soul King bitch slaps him. Say, you motherfucker, why did you set Ichigo away? Fuck you. Get the fuck out. That's what it felt like. By the way, let's get back to the, in this review. <laughs> I ranting over five minutes. Um, he sees his father. He runs away. You know, everything but the ring. He, we get an interesting, interesting character. Ichigo's boss. And she's basically, you know, saying, oh, he looks like he has found out that Sonic Claus isn't real. And, um, it's Akumi-san, his boss. And <coughs> he's thinking to himself, Ichigo, how it's glad that Chad and Orihime didn't see him. The Kisuke didn't see him because of the way he is now. She throws a hot bun in his face, you know, a meat bun, um, fresh off the stove, warming you up, chow it down, and saying that, you know, <coughs> your clothes are in the dryer and they'll be, they'll be ready soon. And, and Kumi her head butts him and says, instead of apologizing, just try harder. And she says, but then she's basically we're talking what she said last time, which is you should learn to rely on your peers every now and then. And then <laughs> she go funny part, calls saying you're like an older sister, and he's like even though you're a decade older than me, I say what are you trying to do, kill me? But anyway, a customer comes in after that, and it's Ishin with his Soul Reaper outfit on. And Izumi can't, uh, Akumi, she can't see him. Obviously, because he's in a soul reaper get up and everything. And that's when, and then Ichigo says goodbyes to her, and he leaves. On his way out, his badge, substitute soul reaper badge, is left behind. And then Akumi decides, I'll give him back to him the next time he comes in. Um, <clears throat> he leaves. Well, tomorrow. And then, his father, listen, Ishin is a fucking retard. I'm sorry. Ishin Kurosaki, he is on the fucking list of worst fathers in anime. This motherfucker, you know what? You're, you're a horrible father. I'm sorry. You don't tell your son shit for, like, how many chapters now? Over 500 chapters, and you didn't tell him anything. Fuck you, Ishin. That's all I have to say. And if you guys are wondering what this gets, it gets a 3 out of 5. Pending. Hopefully next chapter will be better. Now, after, as I'm saying this, he's joking around, and he says, um, she goes, like, saying, you, you know what happened to me. Uha spilled the beans about your zon broken Zanpakuto, about the Zero Squad. He said, you're back here, didn't he? That is to be expected. Your Bankai is in shambles, beyond repair. And again, he says, you don't have a clue who you are yet. And then he goes, Ishin, you know, the longer stream, path, longer stream translation is a little iffy. But he's saying that, you know, I remember back when you said I would could spill my guts when the time was right. Well, get ready for some gut spilling. And he says... 
you might want to take a seat for this. And he says, this, the thing is, you're not really Shinigami, but you aren't a mere human. Ichigo, your mother was. Da, da, da. Cue tenseful music. Cue what the fuck Kubo. Cue Kubo, we already know this. Fuck you. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Now, and then we get a scene. Are you okay? We see Miss Ichigo's mother. And she's going to say, are you okay? Just sweat and worry about things. And he's saying Ishin on the ground as a captain. It says, I don't know live this down being rescued by a girl. And she says, I'll heal you. I'll heal you. Lie still. That put up a flag for me. Because aside from I mean, I know, I know Ichigo, I know Uliu Ryukin, he owns a hospital and everything, so I'm not surprised by this, but I don't know, it's just that she can heal him. Healition. I, I found that very strange. Anyway, she says, uh, how, how you kill that, we don't know what it is, she says that by herself, you know, just some ordinary girl, you know, my, and she says, my, I'm Masaki Kurosaki, a Quincy. It says on the side, his destiny, their love, it all comes to a head for Ichigo. And that's what happened. Pretty much in this chapter. Now, she said Misaki. Kuro Saki. Which means... Dun, da, da, da! Ishin's last name is most likely... Now... Aside from the bullshit, I get angry. I get very, I got very pissed off with the ending of last week's chapter because of how Kubo did this. Aside from that, this is a grand opportunity. We already now, we already know, we already know now from this that Ishin's last name is not Kurosaki. It is probably, for good, better word, Shiba. And that explains everything. That explains why when Ichigo went to the, with the Zero Squad up there, uh, Shukaku, why she said uncle, explains why Ichigo and Kayan look alike. A lot of explanations. And this is going to be the connection and everything. And from Misaki, I mean, it seems like they were in the world of living with this flashback, so... Yeah, they're probably in the world of the living. I don't think they're in the Soul Society. It would, it wouldn't make sense there, kind of. So, yeah. But like I said, it gets a three out of five. Listen, the thing I am wondering, and maybe you guys can fill me in on this. What the fuck is Ichigo going to do after he hears this story? If anyone suggests, oh, he's going to, he's going to train to be a Quincy. To that person, I say this, take your hand and just do this. Because that's the wrong answer. Because if he becomes a Quincy, I'm going to curse Kubo from here to Kenton Buck 2. He better not be a Quincy, because then I'm going to hunt down Kubo. And I'm going to drop kick him in his fucking face. That's bona fide for me. Because I see no reason why he has to be a Quincy. He's been a fucking soul weeper for 500 chapters. What point is there for him to be a Quincy now? Makes no sense. However, what does make sense is that in the next couple of chapters, we're going to get a flashback. And I hope this is a good majority. The only flashback in Bleach history that we've actually gotten that was really good has been Turn Back the Pendulum. And that's what I think we might get here, but let's not keep our hopes up. It's going to be very detailed. We already now know about Ishin and what his last name is. It's not Kurosaki. We now know, we already knew that she was a Quincy. I mean, come on. So, it can only go from there. But that Shiba thing, that explains a lot. Why Ichigo looked like Kayan, why... Shukaku, when she shot up Ichigo with the Zero Squad up there, said, Uncle, everything. 
explains everything. Now, I want to, before we end this, I want to mention one thing else. That's about Ichigo's badge. <coughs> now, I was going to go a full rant on this, but I decided not to. So this will only be like rant slash review. The badge, I think Ichigo's father might also have folding pros. At one point, he did. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of the review. Comments below. You know the story. I hope to dear loving fucking God, Kubo does not turn Ichigo into a Quincy. If he does, I'm going to kill Kubo. I'm going to kill him. But the rant was just about what happened last week. It pissed me off. I'm sorry. But fucking Phoenix sends him away. You're whack. Bullshit. That to me was bullshit. Bullshit. If that's the case, Ichigo should have left. He should have said, oh, well, I'm not going to go with you guys. I'm going to leave. Bye-bye. See you later. And gone back to the world of living. Because the truth of the matter is, when he went up there, what did he do? Got healed. And that's why I'm pissed off. But other than that, it's, we're getting the flashback. We're going to find out a bunch of shit. I like it. I wonder what, the only thing I wonder about is how old Masaki is. Because the way it looked like, she might have been around Orihime's age, to an extent. Also, um, Ishin, what squad he's from. Also, the healing abilities and what he fought. It might have been a hollow. Might have been a hollow. But anyway, this has been Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Saki Kurosaki. See ya.